it's Elise and I'm in LA in the Tastemade studios with Olivia from Love Health Fitness. Hey Olivia. Hi. Olivia's going to help me make <laughs> some really fun and simple Easter treats and at the end of this episode I'm going to leave a link to her video where she's going to show you how long it's going to take you to burn off one peep. So if you've ever wanted to know how much one of those is worth, <laughs> Olivia, was it worth it? You'll have to watch. You'll have to watch. <laughs> All right, so Olivia and I are going to make some little candy bird's nests to begin with today. Olivia, what are we going to use? So we're going to be using some noodles here for like the nest part, some peeps, of course, and some of these little eggs, and we're going to melt down some chocolate just to bind it all together. Perfect. Do you want to melt the chocolate? Yes. So we're going to use a double boiler today and just place the chocolate in over a bit of a boiling water, but we'll turn the water off before we start melting. All right, cool. So with your chocolate melted, you can just tip it straight into the noodles. Yeah. When you're mixing this around, like don't be too rough because you don't want to break all the noodles. So Olivia, what can my viewers expect to find on your channel? Lots of desserts, actually. So what I do is I basically healthify all of your favorite comfort foods. So if you like chocolate chip cookie dough bars, if you like chocolate fudge, I make them with like four or five ingredients with healthy ingredients that you could just find if you go to the grocery store and make it at home. And it, it's usually a 10 minute recipe, really fast, really easy, stick it in the fridge, super easy stuff. Awesome. Yeah. I like this. I like this. Like have <laughs> your cake and eat it too. All right. So once you've got all of your noodles pretty much coated and it doesn't matter if they're not perfectly coated because it's just going to look like the sticks in an actual bird's nest. You can take a spoon and just spoon out little portions onto some wax paper or baking paper. How big should my nest be? I'm, I'm scared <laughs> about how long it's going to take me to work it off now. So when you make your little nest, you kind of want to like hollow out a little bit in the center so that it's a little bit more built up around the outside edges. And it doesn't matter if it's not perfectly round, these are bird's nests. They're supposed to be a little bit messy. In goes one peep. All right, my peep needs an egg. Does your peep need an egg? Yes. I'm very interested to see how long it does actually take to burn off a peep. <laughs> I have a feeling it's gonna be a fair amount of time. Perfect, so you guys can make as many or as few of these as you like. And you can put in peeps, you can put in just a couple of little eggs if you don't wanna have to burn the peep off later. <laughs> Pretty much whatever you like. A cream egg would be nice in one of these, but they're super simple and fun to make by yourself or with the kids. So for our second delicious Easter treat, we're gonna be making peeps eggs. So for this one, we're gonna use white chocolate, which we'll be melting. Would you like to melt again? Yes, of course. Fabulous. So I've got just a little Easter egg mold to make our little Easter egg. And of course, we've got some peeps a couple of Ziploc bags, a pair of scissors, and some spoons. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and scoop up some of our delicious white chocolate, and we're gonna just take about a teaspoon of it and then start filling our molds. So mm. we, we kinda wanna just like spread it all around so the whole mold gets a little bit of everything. You can make these brown or white chocolate, it really doesn't matter, but white looks a little bit more like an actual egg. Mm -hmm. Although, in Australia, our eggs are all brown. Oh. Not like chocolate brown, like kind of a... Like a reddish yeah, brown. Yeah, like, like a really pale brown. You guys have beautiful white eggs. Perfect. All right, so now that all of our little eggs are done, we're going to pop them off into the fridge and let them set. All right, so our little shells are all set, and we've taken them out of our little shell mold. Now we need to crack them a little bit, which kind of seems like it's a bit odd since we've spent so long making them. So you just want to crack like a little hole in the top of the egg, just enough for your peep to peep through. <laughs> Cool. All right. So once you've got your little top hole, I guess, broken oh. like so, you want to grab a peep and you want to stuff him inside. <laughs> we were discussing that our peeps are rather well endowed in the back section. So you yeah. kind of need to fold their butts over a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they got a little junk in the trunk. A little junk. <laughs> How's yours looking? Yes. Ah, that's so <laughs> cute. All right. So we're going to stick them together. We put our chocolate into a Ziploc bag. I've only got one hand. Can you snip? Yes. Excellent. How, how much do I snip off? Just Maybe like, just like a little corner. Like, yeah, that's good. Okay. Perfect. All right. So then you just want to take your Ziploc bag, squirt it around the outside edges, and join your egg together. Now here's the bit you need patience for. You kind of just have to hold it together until they're set. But once they're set, you've got your little peeping peeps Easter eggs, and they're super cute. What do you reckon? Super duper cute. Super duper cute. How long to work that off? I don't want to see this video, right? <laughs> so for our third and final simple Easter trip, we're going to be making Cadbury cream eggs that kind of look like they've smashed a little bit and all of the yolk and egg is oozing out. So we're going to be using some candy melts and these are just white candy melts. You can also use white chocolate and then some egg yolk colored candy melts and just some Cadbury cream eggs. Perfect. So we'll kick it off with melting down your chocolate or your candy melts. 
We're gonna use the double boiler or you can just do it in the microwave. Oh yeah. Yeah. So while we're in between our little candy treats, we were Googling some fun facts about Easter. Did you know 700 million peeps are sold at Easter time in the US? And that is basically 22 billion calories worth of peeps eaten in the US every single Easter. So what's next? Let's grab a cream egg. Delicious and Easter staple. I don't know, are these worldwide? We definitely have them in Australia. You guys have them in the US. I think so. Do you guys have them at home? I think otherwise they're Kinder eggs with like toys and stuff inside. Ooh. Which by the way is illegal in the US. I might have one in my luggage. So I'll see if I can hook you up. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to take a knife and we're just going to cut off just the really little bottom corner here. Don't cut off too much because you don't really want to see the yolk of your cream egg coming out because we're gonna give your egg a new yolk. So for this one, we're gonna use white chocolate. You wanna make a splat, like literally a splat. So don't be too neat, just grab a, about a tablespoon of white chocolate and then splat. Once you've got your little splat, use your spoon just to kind of splatter it out so it looks like more of a neat splat. And have a think about what's gonna be the front of your splatter and what's gonna be the back. So the front should kind of like splatter out a little bit more and the back should be nice and tight. All right, now you wanna take one yolk and stick it somewhere roughly in the middle. And then on goes your Cadbury cream egg. So put your Cadbury cream egg like kind of towards the back. So it looks like it's just like literally just and down it goes. And then we have to hold it. Then you have to hold it. Now these are gonna take a little while to set because they're not cold. So you can speed the process up by having like a bit of a refrigerator or a bit of a cold bench that you're working on. But you just wanna support it until the white chocolate goes a little bit tacky and that cream egg's gonna stand up by itself. So that about wraps it up for our super cute Easter treats. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We had so much fun making three really, really simple ideas. Make sure that you check out my good friend Olivia's channel. It's Love Health Fitness. So I'm gonna leave all of her links down below. And if you overindulge a little bit this Easter, Olivia's channel is definitely going to be the place that you can go to help you burn off those peeps. Yeah, those yeah. peeps. Make sure you check out that video. <laughs> it's tons of fun. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for helping me on my little Easter treat. It was video. a treat. It was a treat. Oh, <laughs> we're so sweet. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, guys. I don't think you can over break these. I think it'll be it'll be all right. We got spares. Okay. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> Maybe you can break it too much.